Good morning. It is Friday, uh, February 23rd. We'll be starting this morning in Leviticus chapter 14 with verse 1. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper for the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought to the priest, and the priest shall go out of the camp, and the priest shall examine him. And indeed, if the leprosy is healed in the leper, then the priest shall command to take for him who is to be cleansed two living and clean birds, cedar wood, scarlet, and hyssop. And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it, the cedar wood and the scarlet and the hyssop, and dip them in the living bird in the blood of the, of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle it seven times on him who is to be cleansed from the leprosy, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose in the open field. He who is cleansed shall, be, shall wash his clothes, shave off all his hair, and wash himself in water that he may be clean. After that he shall come into the camp, and shall stay outside his tent seven days. But on the seventh day he shall shave all the hair off his head, and his beard, and his eyebrows. All his hair he shall shave off. He shall wash his clothes, and wash his body in water, and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take two male lambs without blemish, one ewe lamb, of the first year without blemish, three tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering in one log of oil. Then the priest who makes him clean shall present the man who is to be made clean and those things before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. And the priest shall take one male lamb and offer it as a trespass offering and the log of oil and wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. Then he shall kill the lamb in the place where he kills the sin offering and the burnt offering in a holy place. For as the sin offering is the priest, so is the trespass offering. It is most holy. Lost my spot. The priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and the priest shall put on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot. And the priest shall take some of the log of oil and pour it into the palm of his own left hand. Then the priest shall dip his right finger in the oil that is in his left hand and shall sprinkle some of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And the rest of the oil in his hand, the priest shall put some on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot, on the blood of the trespass offering. The rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put on the head of him who is to be cleansed, so the priest shall make atonement for him before the Lord. Then the priest shall offer the sin offering and make atonement for him who is to be cleansed for his uncleanness afterward. He shall kill the burnt offering, and the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the grain offering on the altar, so the priest shall make atonement for him, and he shall be clean. But if he is poor and cannot afford it, then he shall take one male lamb as a trespass offering to be waved to make atonement for him, one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, a log of oil, and two turtle doves or two young pigeons such as he is able to afford. One shall be a sin offering, the other a burnt offering. He shall bring them to the priest on the eighth day for his cleansing to the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering and the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering, and the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and put it on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of his right hand and on the big toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour some of the oil into the palm of his own hand. Then the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is his left hand, seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put some of the oil that is in his hand on the tip of the right ear of him who is to be cleansed, on the thumb of the right hand and on the big toe of the right foot, on the place of the blood of the trespass offering. The rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put on the head of him who is to be cleansed, to make atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer one of the turtle doves or young pigeons, such as he can afford, such as he is able to afford, 
the one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering with a grain offering. So the priest shall make atonement for him who is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law for the one who has a leprous sore who cannot afford the usual cleansing. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When you have come into the land of Canaan, which I give you as a possession, and I put the leprous plague in a house in the land of your possession, and he who owns the house comes and tells the priest, saying, It seems to me that there is some plague in the house, then the priest shall command that they empty the house before the priest goes into it to examine the plague, that all that is in the house may not be made unclean, and afterward the priest shall go in to examine the house. And he shall examine the plague, and indeed if the plague is on the walls of the house with engrained streaks, greenish or reddish, which appeared to be deep in the wall, then the priest shall go out of the house to the door of the house and shut up the house seven days. And the priest shall come again on the seventh day and look, and indeed if the plague has spread on the walls of the house, and the priest shall command that they take away the stones of which is the plague, and they cast them into an unclean place outside the city. And he shall cause the house to be scraped inside all around, and the dust that they scrape off they shall pour out in an unclean place outside the city. Then they shall take other stones and put them in the place of those stones, and he shall take other mortar and plaster its house. Now if the plague comes back and breaks out in the house after he has taken away the stones, after he has scraped the house, and after it is plastered, then the priest shall come and look, and indeed if the plague has spread in the house, it is an act of leprosy in the house, it is unclean, and he shall break down the house, its stones, its timber, and all the plaster of the house, and he shall carry them outside the city to an unknown place. Moreover, he who goes into the house at all while it is shut up shall be clean until evening unclean until evening and he who lies down in the house shall wash his clothes and he who who eats in the house shall wash his clothes but if the priest comes in and examines it and indeed the plague has not spread in the house after the house was plastered then the priest shall pronounce the house clean because the plague is healed and he shall take to cleanse the house two birds cedar wood scarlet and hyssop Then he shall kill one of the birds in an earthen vessel over running water, and he shall take the cedar wood, the hyssop, the scarlet, and the living bird, and dip them in the blood of the slain bird, and in the running water, and sprinkle the house seven times. And he shall cleanse the house with the blood of the bird and the running water, and the living bird with the cedar wood, the hyssop, and the scarlet. Then he shall let the living bird loose outside the city in the open field to make atonement for the house and it shall be clean. This is the law for any leprous sore and scale, for the leprosy of a garment and of a house, for a swelling and a scab and a bright spot, to teach it when it is unclean and when it is clean. This is the law of leprosy. Moving on to Mark chapter 6, beginning in verse 30. Then the apostles gathered to Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said to them, Come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. So they departed to a deserted place in a boat by themselves. But the multitude saw them departing, and many of them Many knew him and ran there on foot from all the cities. They arrived before them and came together to him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them, because they were like lost sheep, like sheep not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. When the day was now far spent, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and already the hour is late. Send them away that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. But he answered and said to them, You give them something to eat. And he said to him, Shall we go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give them something to eat? But he said to them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. 
Then he commanded them to make them all sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in ranks in hundreds and in fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set them set before them. And the two fish he divided among them all. So they all ate and were filled. And they looked up twelve they took up twelve baskets full of fragments and of the fish. Now those who had eaten of the loaves were about five thousand men. Immediately he made his disciples go into the boat and go before him to the other side to Bethsaida, while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. Now when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. Then he saw them straining at rowing, for the wind was against them. Now about the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea, and would have passed them by. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed it was a ghost, and cried out. For they all saw him and were troubled. But immediately he talked with them and said to them, Be of good cheer. He says, I do not be afraid. Then he went up into the boat to them, and the wind ceased. And they were greatly amazed in themselves, beyond measure, and marveled. For they had not understood about the loaves, because their heart was hardened. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret, and anchored there. And when they came out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him, ran through the whole surrounding region, and began to carry about on beds those who were sick to wherever they, ha they heard he was. And whenever he entered into the villages, cities, or the country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might just touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched him were made well. Psalm chapter 40, beginning in verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear, and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, and does not respect the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come, in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O God, and your laws within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips. O Lord, you yourself know I have not hidden your righteousness with, within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great assembly. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11. The mouth of the righteous is a well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. He Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. And that's the end of our reading for today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning that as we just read, love covers all sins. And so we thank you for the forgiveness that is offered because of the love that you have for us, Lord. And your word, it says that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever will believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, Lord. Because of that love, you are willing to re to you were willing to take the penalty for our sin, the penalty that we deserve, and yet you were willing to take it and remove it from us. And so we thank you for your love, Lord. We thank you for all that you are doing, and we thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your past faithfulness, which speaks of your future faithfulness. 
and just knowing that you were at work. And so, Lord, would you help us to rest in that today to allow your word to just work into our hearts and our minds. And Lord, would you conform us into your image and would you fill us with your spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.